welcome to Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri and I'm reporting from our Boxborough Service Center. We're checking out late model BMW M5, an amazing vehicle, awesome options, stunning performance. Just imagine this V8 M tuned twin turbo pumping air to burn quality gas here. Now, the reason the car is at Alpha Cars because it started off for the vehicle owner with an innocent, uh, my headlamp is out. And of course, shortly after the vehicle was taken to a BMW dealer and the recommendation was to spend, uh, to spend about uh, six plus thousand dollars to replace the headlamp. Here's the other side. The vehicle, uh, that was not super appealing to the vehicle owner, so they searched for other options and ended up with the recommendation to Alpha Cars. So the vehicle is here today, and we're gonna show you our findings. And it's certainly not an unreasonable thought to replace the whole headlamp. By the way, if you ever wanted to see a multi-thousand dollar headlamp, this one is an LED headlamp. It's uh, made in Austria. There it is. It says right there. Things are expensive in Austria, especially when it comes to LED headlamps for BMW vehicles. Anyway, that's a gorgeous headlamp that looks like this, and it's the BMW Adaptive LED. And uh, one of the features of this headlamp, there are these uh, perimeter lights that give you that kind of BMW signature look, uh, angel eye look. I'm not sure if that's what you call it these days, but that's what it is. So it does have uh, this module. So this module, drives uh, LED lights and they project the light to this fiber. Well, it's not fiber. I think it's a glass, it's an optical, here it is. It's an optical um, feed because you see that, you see this uh, glass stem and that actually brings that light uh, to the uh, to the to the element. So if I take our shop flashlight, which is very powerful, place that here. So now you can see it. The light is on. The light is off. The light is on, and so forth. So the issue is um, the multi-thousand-dollar issue is that uh, there is a failure that developed with this light that caused, with a module, that caused arcing around the LEDs, and that in turn caused substantial uh, carbon buildup on this side uh, of this uh, stem. So what we did, we cleaned it, and while there's still some surface imperfections, it does uh, transfer the light. So not only the module has failed, but we now we ordered the new one. So we're gonna get a new one, put it in, and then run the light and see if it uh, fixed the issue. We know the module would fix the issue. It will illuminate the LEDs, but we also, also what we wanted to see to make sure that that light will transmit through that surface imperfection on one of the stems. This is the new uh, control unit and LED uh, light source. And this is the part number for it. Of course, we use original BMW part. And um, if it all works out, which we will know very soon, we'll be able to save uh, several thousand dollars to this vehicle owner. And yes, it is a pretty, extensive job because you have to pretty much uh, detach the front bumper to allow for the headlamp assembly to exit the vehicle. 
uh, which we successfully did, and the bumper is kind of just uh, hanging on there on the car. Now, with the new unit ready to go, we're going to uh, mount it and set it up in the vehicle. We're not going to assemble everything, but we're going to connect it, power it up, exercise the system, inspect the light intensity, and if it's all good, we will reinstall the bumper and give it a final check. So we completed the repair and I parked the car in the back of the dealership where we have least amount of building lighting. And here it is, I'm gonna turn the headlamps on and just like you, I don't know how it worked out. I know we installed the headlamp and during the daylight, it looked like it, it worked out, but let's see how it is because any difference would be notice noticeable here under these lighting conditions. Okay, we'll allow the camera to adjust. Let's keep adjusting the camera. So, uh, I'm not sure how the camera actually shows it, but here uh, we're looking at the angel light segment. Look at it again. And it looks to be pretty bright. I really cannot tell the difference between the two. So I think we found an awesome solution to save uh, several thousand dollars, not hundreds, thousand dollars. And uh, there was one step that was not shown in the video because when we installed the module and there was still a little bit of black residue um, and we could tell the dimness uh, was noticeable. So we actually uh, polished that off completely and that did the trick. So here we are. Thank you very much for watching this video from Alpha Cars. This was Dimitri reporting from our service center.